Hey everyone, welcome back to Treehouse Garden. It's Kimberly here. What if I told you there was a crop you could plant in February, plant it once, and you could reap the rewards for 20 plus years? I'm talking about asparagus. It's the perfect time to plant an asparagus bed. You have two options. You can plant from seed, which takes 45 years to get a good harvest, or you can plant crowns, which is about a two to three year commitment for a harvest. But think about it, you plant it once and you'll have asparagus for 20 plus years. And it's so expensive at the store. Okay, so when it comes to picking the perfect tray, I wouldn't say perfect, a good tray to start your asparagus seeds, um, think a little bit bigger. Normally when I start my seeds, I do use the smaller um, sectioned kind of compartments. But for these, with the research that I've um, read, and they do take a long time to kind of sprout. It might take almost three weeks sometimes for your asparagus seeds to start to grow and emerge from the soil. So I want to give them an, a nice amount of room. So I picked um, plastic ones that are a little bit uh, wider. I just got these at my local feed store. And of course, make sure you get the tray that goes on the bottom because unless you're misting them on the top, which is still a great idea, you really want to water your seeds to keep them from getting displaced from the bottom up. And that way the seeds are, or babies, if they're babies at that time, can take what water they want and they won't get waterlogged. So, so again, um, a little bit bigger seed tray and I'm going to plant three in each cell. All right, let's go. Okay, before we get started in planting the seeds in the greenhouse here, I thought I would share uh, which varieties I'm growing. All three are from Baker Creek um, heirloom seeds. Um, I went to the Petaluma store near Bodega Bay. Amazing. So if you haven't been to a Baker Creek store, I strongly suggest it. It's quite an experience. Okay, the first one is French. Did you know I speak French? Precorce d'Argentile. Sounds really pretty. The next one is Conover's Colossal. And then the last one is probably the most reliable and most planted version of asparagus, and it's Mary Washington. The name says it all. It sounds so reliable. All right, let's get started and get these in some seed trays and get them under some grow lights and see what happens. Okay, one more thing before we start planting. I should have mentioned Baker Creek suggests that you soak the asparagus seeds um, 24 hours, and I have mine soaking in some water here. They also suggest that you start your seeds two to three months prior to your last frost date. If you're not sure what your frost date is in your area, you can go online to a planting calendar, type in your zip code, and they'll give you an approximate frost date. That doesn't mean that right after that frost date, the babies need to go on the ground. You can plant them later in the spring or early summer and still be fine. Don't want it too hot, and you definitely don't want to plant it when it's cold. So two to three months before your last frost date is a perfect time to start your seeds. All right, let's go. 